the Lord's agenda, my priority. Can we say that together? The Lord's agenda, my priority. Amen. Amen. May we mean it. Total surrender, even as leaders. Amen. If you're a leader, you consider yourself a leader of any shape or form. A leader of a household, a father in a household. This is applicable to all of us. Amen. Total surrender. The Bible says we are living sacrifices of anyway we ought to be because not everyone is amen that's who we ought to be living sacrifices moses knew what to do to do however he wanted the father to show him whom to walk with because that person is beautiful doesn't mean you must walk with them because they have the finances doesn't mean you should walk with them because they are intelligent doesn't mean they'll be a plus to your to your organization doesn't mm -hmm. matter that people do not look like anything but in them are treasures mm -hmm. i don't know who belongs to that category but i declare that i belong to that category mm -hmm. that i'm filled with treasures yes. filled with treasures and mysteries that are the carrier of the mysteries of god mm -hmm. in the name of jesus yes. Amen. total surrender even as a leader that the Lord will lead us to the right people at the right time for His glory. Amen. Amen. That the goodness of God will be manifested through those people when He leads us there. But when He doesn't lead us, no glory will manifest. Amen. Instead of inquiring from the people first who will go with Him, Moses inquired from the Lord first. The what did King David do? He inquired from the people first. The able, strong men. The ones who looked like it in their thousands. Mm -hmm. But one with God is a maturity. Mm -hmm. When God says yes, let the world say no. Mm -hmm. Stand with God mm -hmm. and see him fight your battle for you. Mm -hmm. Moses does not depend on his strength and his ability. He did not depend on his eyesight. Mm -hmm. You know he had good eyesight, right? Mm -hmm. He said he was, when he was 120 years old, his eyesight was not dim. No, his natural force abated. So his eyes were good. So he could see good things and know what is good. But he refused to depend even on his ability to see good and call it good. He depended on the strength and the ability of God. Now that you understand, lift up your situation to the Lord. Amen. That we pray for total surrender. Let's not be quiet. If you can unmute, unmute. There is a grace available for you to partake of. Otherwise, you live here as the same person. But this, this is not the reason why we are gathered. Another event, no. Father, we totally surrender to you. In the name of Jesus. We totally surrender. We present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you. For this is our reasonable act of service of worship unto you. Total surrender, Daddy. Total surrender. Total surrender to your will and to your ways in the name of Jesus. That your agenda is our priority in the name of Jesus. That even when you call us to leadership positions of any kind, Father, we will learn to seek your face. We will learn to Seek your ways to understand whom we should walk with and when we should walk with that person. We will not depend on our ability to make the best choices, to see best and make decisions based on our eyesight, to see and or to think logically and make decisions out of our logical mindset or out of our philosophical mindset or out of the decisions of the media, Lord. So we will come back to you, Father. We will seek you first. We will seek you first, Father. We will seek you first and get your opinion on things before the opinion of the world in the name of Jesus. We cannot do this by ourselves. So, Spirit of God, we ask for your help. If we had arrived, then we would not be praying this prayer for you. But we need help today. We receive help not to depend on the arm of flesh. 
Quite often we say, I'm of flesh, you feel. But do you realize that you are I'm of flesh? You can yes. feel you. We always think of I'm of flesh as other people feeling us. But you also, you are an I'm of flesh. And you feel yourself. May the Lord deliver us mm. from ourselves. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name may we be Jesus. delivered from ourselves. Oh, may we be delivered from self. From efforts. I can do, I can do, I can do. No, you can't without the help of God. In the name of Jesus. Are we praying together? Amen. Amen. Now, verse 13 says this, the promise of God's presence. Now, therefore, I pray, if you have found grace in, if I have found grace in your sight, show me now your way that I may know you. This is a prayer point that we ought to be praying daily. Father, show me your way. How, well, after we have prayed that point, we go back to his word. That's how you learn about the ways of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't just pray the prayer and go. He has made provisions mm -hmm. for how we should know his way. You know, if you come back next year to this retreat and you're still the same, then we don't know what we will certainly do with you. Because all the tools have been made available to you. Mm -hmm. If you still go back and struggle and cannot conquer this Uza we've been talking about, then we don't know. We've done our best. Amen. Amen. Yes. Now, therefore, I pray, if I have found grace in your sight, show me now your way that I may know you and that I may find grace in your sight and consider that this nation is your people. Look at what the word of God has to say. Amen. In Psalm 119 verse 19, it speaks of an acknowledgement that you and I need to acknowledge daily like the breath you breathe. Never forget this. I am a stranger in the earth. If you think you have come to remain, I have good news for you. You will not remain. It's good news. You wouldn't. We'll make sure that you leave in, at the right time. You must leave. I'm a stranger. <laughs> Say that again. We'll pray you out. We'll pray you out, right? <laughs> I'm a stranger in the earth. Say it, in fact. Say, say I am a stranger. I am a stranger in the earth. I am a stranger in the earth. Just in case your mind has convinced you that this is it. You know, it is not it. This is not it. We bring you good news from the throne of God. You are a stranger in this earth. You will not be here forever. So do not consider this a dress rehearsal either. Amen. Amen. You are a stranger. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commands from me. Amen. In other words, do not hide your ways from me. I'm just passing, but while I am here, please, may I know your ways. Because I cannot do it by myself. Amen. I cannot do it by myself. I'm a stranger. If you travel to, let's say, Australia, you'll certainly be a foreigner there, a stranger there. Would you say you know for someone who has never been there, would you say you know the language? Do you know where the grocery stores are? Do you know the nuances of the people? Do you know any? Do you know what side of the road they're driving and all of those? Without doing your due diligence of research, you cannot. It's so, so I don't know. Human beings are very courageous, you know, in the wrong things. A fish will never attempt to live out of water. We've heard that all the time. Because they know that water is their natural habitat. Mm -hmm. So they want to stay there. When you catch a fish, they, they only want to go back to the water. And we are so courageous in the wrong things. And we, we, want, we feel comfortable living out of God's presence. And then we want to make it. It's not possible, beloved. We were created in the presence and for the presence. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. That is where we belong. The just shall live by faith. That's where we ought to be. Yet, we resist what is rightfully ours. Even animals sometimes behave better. They know their natural habitat and they want to stay there. But we are strangers. So our prayer is that, Lord, do not hide your commands from us. 
Psalm 103 verse 7 says, He made known, this is where this statement comes from now, mm -hmm. everything we saw in Exodus 33 and 34, mm -hmm. He made known His ways mm -hmm. to Moses, but His acts to the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Because Moses continually prayed for the ways of God to be revealed to him. But the children of Israel wanted the acts. Okay, Moses has gone to find out the ways. Now the presents have been volunteered. Now they stand at their tents and they are benefiting. Mm -hmm. They want to see the action. They don't want to pay the price to, make the, to, to know the ways. Mm -hmm. He made known his ways to Moses. Can we agree that he did? Yeah, he did. And his yeah. acts to the children of Israel. Then Psalm 86 verse 11 says, Teach me your way. I'm giving us prayer points, verses to quote so that the angels can run away. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will, I will walk in your truth. Until the Lord teaches us, we cannot walk in the truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. Amen. More scriptures. It says Psalm 25, 4 to 5. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you I will wait all the day. Show me your ways, O oh Lord. Show me your ways, the prayer points. John 14, 26. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things, love, all things, meaning including the ways of God. All things, including the ways of God. All means all. And bring to your remembrance all things that I, I said to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So what are we praying about? The same prayer point that Moses prayed. Mm -hmm. Lord, show me now, not tomorrow, beloved, now your way. That I may know you. When you seek to know the ways of God, you will volunteer his presence. Let us pray. Father, we come before you even like your servant Moses did. And he said, Lord, show me now your way. Moses said, if I have found grace in your sight, we live in a dispensation of grace. So the grace is available to us. So we pray and we say, Lord, show us now your way. That we may know you. That is our humble plea before you today in the name of Jesus. Because your grace has been made available to us, we recognize, Father, that we are strangers upon this earth. Therefore, we pray and ask that may you not hide your commands, may you not hide your ways from us in the name of Jesus. For we acknowledge that you make known your ways to, the, to, to, to Moses and you make known your acts to the children of Israel. May it not be said of us that it was said of the children of Israel. But may it be said of us that it was said of Moses. That in our time you made known your ways. You made known your patterns. You made known your ways to us, Lord. We say thank you, Father, for teaching us your ways. Teaching us, O oh Lord, your ways so we can walk in the truth of your word. In the name of Jesus, that we say thank you. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for showing us your ways and for teaching us in your path. In the name of Jesus, may you lead us into all truth and teach us, Father, your ways. Void of your ways, we will find ourselves practicing error. And that is not our portion. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, our helper, who is helping us even now by leading us into all truth, including the truth about who you are to us. And we bless you. We bless you. Your ways, so God. Your ways. Your ways. Do not get tired of praying this prayer. It will spare your life. It will spare the life of your brethren. 
It will spare the life of your family members. Do not get tired of praying this prayer point. We are getting into the sixth month. Watch and see how things unfold. But exempt yourself. Exempt yourself, beloved. Exempt yourself from the arm of flesh by knowing the ways of God diligently. In the name of Jesus, the ways of God, the ways of God. Are we praying? Amen. Prayer points number four. The Bible says in verse 14 to 15, and he said, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Remember, he asked about the ways and God volunteered that his presence will go with them and I will give you rest. Then he said to him, if your presence does not go with us, do not bring us up from here. Of course, why would you want to go without the presence of God? For Moses, it was a given, but for the children of Israel, it wasn't a given. Amen. So, what are we saying here? If we want to enjoy the presence of God, if you want God to always show his face in your business, with a sign, with a thumb of approval, the starting point is to desire to know the ways of God. Then you stop praying prayers like, Father, your presence, I need your presence. He's not keeping his presence away from you. He wants, you know, he wants to be where you are. But because we are stiff-necked, before we were stiff-necked, now we are not because we are praying. Amen. <laughs> we keep him away, but now, I would like to get calls testifying that because I sought the ways of God, He volunteered His presence. Amen. If you want to enjoy the presence of God, the starting point is to desire to know the ways of God. Then the presence will find a resting place. God cannot rest in the midst of confusion and chaos and unforgiveness and backbiting and backsliding and backstabbing and all the backs you can think about. Amen. You cannot expect. That's why you keep praying prayers like, show me your prayers and show me your prayers. It doesn't work that way. He will not show. You cannot force him to do it anyway. <laughs> he wouldn't. Amen. So do your part. He will do his part. When we come into divine alignment, everything takes its place. You know, there are some prayer points that you eliminate by virtue of divine alignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No need, not your presence. I need your presence. Does he not want to volunteer his presence? He wants to. Mm -hmm. Then the presence will find a resting place. Moses did not pray for the presence. God volunteered his presence. We've talked about that over and over. Then Moses said, please show me your glory. Then he said, I will make my goodness, all, all, all my goodness pass before you. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. God was speaking as if he was going to proclaim the name of another God. But he was talking about himself. He said, I will make all my goodness pass before you. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. Which Lord? He's the Lord. Amen? Amen. So I will make all my goodness pass before you and I'll proclaim the name of the Lord before you. I'll be gracious to whom I'll be gracious. And I'll have compassion on whom I'll have compassion. But he said, you cannot see my face for no one shall see me and live. That's the Lord speaking to Moses. And the Lord said, here is a place by me and you shall stand on the rock. So it shall be while my glory my glory passes by. Now I'll put you in the cleft of the road and cover you with my hand while I pass by. Then I'll take away my hand and you shall see my back. Then my face shall not be seen. Amen. My face shall not be seen. Now look at this. Now the Lord descended in the cloud. We have read this before, but because we want to pray, I'm reading it again. Now the Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And the Lord passed before him and proclaimed. This is what I want you to proclaim and I want you to add to this list. Because we are going to proclaim the goodness of God. We are going to proclaim the glory of God. Do not run short of words. Do not fall asleep either. Amen. Amen. Proclaim. Just as the Lord proclaimed, I want you to add to this list. I want you
to proclaim that the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abounding in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, mm. keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. This is the goodness of God because His mercy is for thousands. Amen. For thousands. But the punishment, um, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. His, that punishment ends somewhere, third and fourth generation. And his mercy continues after those generations. Amen. He will surely punish sin. He will. But his mercy far surpasses his punishment. Amen. I don't know what the glory of God or how the glory of God has manifested in your own life. Only you can pray this prayer perfectly for yourself. So I want you to proclaim the glory of God as you see fit and manifest in your own life in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Let's proclaim. God proclaimed his glory. I want you to proclaim his glory in your life. Father, we declare this day that you are the Lord, the Lord God Almighty. Oh, you are magnificent, Father. You have been faithful throughout the ages. That's who you are, and that's who you have been. You are El Rahom, God of mercy and God of compassion. You are El Shaddai, God of our all sufficiency. You are Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. You are Yahweh Yare, the God that sees to it. Father, we say thank you because you are El Rohi, the God that sees me. Father, I bless you, for you are good and there is no one compared to you. I bless you, Jose. I ascribe every glory. I cast every crown to you, Lord, because you have been true to me and you have kept your promises to me and to my generation. You have never failed me. In all of this, I see the manifestations of your glory. And I say thank you. You have been gracious. You have exercised your long suffering towards me and my generation. I say thank you because you are a God who abounds in goodness, who abounds in truth, who keeps your mercy for thousands of generations, who forgives iniquity, transgressions, and sins. And you will say thank you. Oh, I recognize you this day as my God. You are Adonai to me. Oh, Rasoto, Kendelikas. Sota, Bandelia Sota, Rek Handelia, Foyo Soriba City, and the God who forgives all my sins. Ready, I said thank you. The one who gives me hope again. The one who corrects me when I go wrong. The one who fights my battles. You are my defender. You are my strength. Razoto, Kendelia Sir. Father, I recognize you this day. I recognize your glory. I recognize your goodness in my life. You have exercised your patience towards me. While I was in the world, you saw it fit to send Jesus Christ to die for me or even before I was born. And while in the world, you sent people to minister to me. And today I stand boldly to proclaim your goodness in the land of the living. And I said thank you. To you be all glory. I ascribe every glory to you. I recognize your goodness and I give it back to you. I say thank you for you are God all by yourself. Your protection never fails. My going out and my coming in is blessed because of your goodness. Because of your goodness. Because of your kindness. Because of your love. Your goodness, Lord. Your goodness, Lord. Your goodness, Lord. You make all your goodness 
known to me. You shown me all your goodness. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord. Lord, don't get tired of praying. Lift up your voice. I need to hear you pray. I need to hear you speak. I need to hear you proclaim the goodness of God. God proclaim.